Whoa, you see Davis. Go Carr. You see <laughs> Davis. They're coming. Hey, look, it's March Madness time, and uh, I don't know if you're ready. All right. It's here. It's here. It's happening. All right, let's get this one going. It's the best time. It's the best time of the year. Welcome, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Who's Up Next. It is March, and uh, we are excited to be here. Yes. Tournament started. It's 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 already going on. Like last night was crazy. Let's be real. There's so much excitement in the world of sports right Ooh. now. I don't have to worry about LeBron. No. I don't have to worry about Anthony Davis and where he's going. I'm not worried about any of those clowns because I'm all in on what's popping with March Madness. March it's Madness. It's the best time of the year. There's a lot of teams, Mike. Mm -hmm. There's a lot going on. But today, for this episode, we're going to focus on one team, and that is the Buffalo Bulls. The Buffalo Bulls. Woo. Get it right. Woo. Get it right. Not the Bills. Not the Bills. Not the Bills. The Bulls. Yes. And let me tell you, Mike. What's up with that? Buffalo, that program is getting a lot of recognition. They are. They really They're are. They're getting a lot of pub. They're not just known for the wings. <laughs> they are killing it out there. Hey, okay. Nope. They have got a tournament bid the last four out of five seasons. Mm. That's a pretty good percentage. That's 80%. That's fire. And I know that's good because 80% is what I got on the chemistry final junior year. I hated chemistry. So if you get 80% <laughs> on the chemistry, yeah. If you get 80% on that, killing it, brother. You're doing your thing. They are crushing it. Their senior guard, Jeremy Harris, he played his booty off uh -huh. in the MAC tournament. Okay. He was averaging 24 and six to go into that tournament. Senior guard and he got the tournament MVP, out there killing him, man. It was really inspiring and I'm happy for him because he's a senior and he's ending his career the right way. I feel that, I feel that. I'm happy for him too, honestly. Shout out to you, Jeremy. Way to, way to put up some buckets and uh, get your team to that win. But I gotta be honest, man. When we talk about Buffalo, I really, really like the guy, CJ Massenburg. He's also a senior over there and um, he's really their leader. Uh, he's a top scorer um, in, in school history. He's one of the better players that they've had in a while. And it's surprising that he ended up not getting that tournament MVP, being that um, Jeremy did as well as he did, which I kind of wonder, do you think that happened because CJ was trying to more so prepare his team, you know, for the tournament, going in and give everybody on his team that confidence going into the tournament? Because CJ's a guy that takes the most shots on that team. He's a guy that really is a dominant player, their go-to scorer. And uh, in, the turn in, in their conference tournament, he just didn't do that. And I wonder, is did he take the back seat to give his teammates the leverage to give, you know, that, that, I guess, momentum going into the tournament? Or just was it, you know, not his time? What you know, you I, Mike, I think he did give a little bit of the back seat. Okay. You know, because sometimes Batman got to let Robin get a couple punches in. You know what I mean? Like, okay. if we're if we're tag teaming, like, I might let you put the enemy in the headlock. Because I know usually you're not strong enough to handle that kind of responsibility. How? I feel like I, I can hold my own. But you're going to get your confidence up. And then from there, we're going to go take on the Joker or somebody else. That, you oh. know, might might need both of our strength. But That's he fair. definitely took That's the back seat That's fair. a little bit. You could tell he wasn't as aggressive as he usually is. But, you know, it worked out for the better. Right. It definitely did. It definitely did. It got them to the to the conference championship and then, you know, solidified their bid for March Madness. So I'm excited to see what they do. Uh, they play today. Arizona State. They play Arizona State. Which, by the way, Mike, I don't know if you know this. Mm. I'm assuming you don't because I know you don't do your research, but <sighs> Wow. But wow, the head coach that hurts. for Arizona State is a guy by the name of Bobby Hurley. Mm. Bobby Hurley used to be the head coach at none other than the Buffalo Bulls. So, which okay. leads me to my question. Go ahead, ask. Do you think he's going into this game with an extra chip on his shoulder? Because he's already got one, but maybe, maybe he wants to put on two. Is he going into this game with another chip, feeling like he's got something to prove against Coach Oates and the Bulls? 100%. I think he's going into this game with two chips, pretty big chips also, on both of his shoulders. Um, he's a feisty guy. He's a feisty type of coach. He really has a demeanor of a person that uh, seems like to be a, a bit uneasy um, a lot of the time and really on edge to where he's probably going into that game thinking, I got to show him what I'm doing over here at Arizona State. I left to quote unquote go to a bigger program and I better show out. And if I don't, he's, you know, you might be, might be hurt. Yeah. And you know what? Now that we're talking about chips, you remember the Dorito 3D? 
Oh yeah, I do what remember happened? those. Come on, what happened to us? Or, 7-11, bring or you remember the hot Cheeto asteroids? The little pew pew, the little asteroids. The... I don't remember that one, but you know, I grew up in the suburbs, so yeah, we might have true. Had that. Different worlds, different worlds. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't agree with you more, Mike. Couldn't agree with you more. You made some good points there, and I would like all the viewers out there because I know you guys love this show. Yes. As we continue to give you more content and more mm -hmm. shows on March Madness and everything college basketball, Mike, what are three things that our viewers can do? Subscribe, comment, and like. Those three things will make us very happy. Go Card and the Gales. It Here is the March Gales. Madness. And uh, we will see you guys next week. Uh-huh. Peace. Mm.